Juan Alvarez. <laughs> the only time a soul is your friend is when he's lying dead at your feet. Uh, I want lots of friends like that. Finish them off. You hear? We're not leaving no witnesses. Just food for vultures. <laughs> Hey, amigos, we're not finished our job yet. When you get your uniforms on, ride into Omaha. No one will suspect you. Zach, Rodrigo, and me, we'll take them dollars to Mexico. You take the others to town, Pete, to the bank there. Tell them you're bringing the dollars, then clean the place out. Understand? Vamos, go on. Hey, put the strong box back. <laughs> Next stop, Omaha. Let's go, Paco! Come on, come on! as pitch before we even get near the border. Let's stop at that shelter over there. Anyway, nobody's following us now. <laughs> Unless maybe perhaps they're ghosts. Sanchez, I don't like the looks of that man. Is he still there? Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. oh why are you worried? He just like to sleep out of doors. <laughs> He's here for us. Huh? What could he want from us? The dollars. The dollars? <laughs> Here, you need some of this. <laughs> uh, so he wants the dollars, eh? But how does he know we have the dollars with us? Uh, those soldiers who were delivering them are all dead. <laughs> so it is not possible. Not possible. Nobody knows. He is not after the dollars.
what was the noise? Huh? What is it? Don't worry. I did it. I heard someone move outside. Sanchez! Huh? What is it? Now the man's gone. What's so special with that? A stranger worries you. Who is sleeping by his campfire? That man's not just a stranger. He's a real killer. He's one of those professionals paid by the banks to get back their money. He's one of them cold-blooded bounty killers. Tell me how you know this. And you better tell the truth. He's been following us all yesterday. At first, I thought he just wanted to go along with us to the border. But when I saw that he always stopped and never come any closer, then I knew what he was. And you let him get away? He ain't gone away. He'll follow us. Sooner or later, we'll have him breathing down our necks. Good. Our guns are ready and he will get a real surprise. It's time to get out of here. Come on. He is more dangerous than you think. You lousy dog! Show us where you are! You coward! What is wrong? Come on and shoot, dirty green are you afraid? All right, come on out. What's the matter? You scared of that clown? That man ain't no clown. Ah, then why he stop shooting at us for? Huh? As soon as we come out like this, he runs away and hides. Let's hope so. Vamos! The border is far away. I still think we should get him out of the way first. Ah, stop worrying. If we lose him, that is good. If he follows us, that is bad for him. Some water here. What I tell you, Rodrigo, eh? That killer of yours has given up chasing us long ago. Come out of there! Come out in the open so I can see that yellow streak of yours. You want the dollars? Here they are. Hey. Come out and get them, gringo. <laughs> I don't like that laugh of yours, friend. Huh? Here they are. Only I am not going to bring them to you. Come over to me. Or are you yellow? I can wait. Don't worry. There is a hundred thousand dollars in here. Come and get it. I never go where I can send a bullet.
All right, hold. Now listen to me. In about an hour, we'll be in Omaha. Take care that no one finds out who we really are. Remember, we're an escort of soldiers bringing in a shipment of $100,000 from Fort Lawrence. Look out for Kennebec. He could still try to get that strong box there. When we're in the bank, three of us will go in the back where the strong room is. Once we've opened that, well, I guess it's just reach in and fill your pockets. <laughs> Are you all coming along? Yeah! All right, then. Forward, march! Come on. you can't persuade me, Aaron. The banks in this district just aren't safe anymore. Have you forgotten what happened two weeks ago at Centerville? And yesterday, the banks at Danville were cleaned out. I'd risk my money if I kept it here to please you. As soon as that army escort arrives here, I'm going to transfer my deposit to Santa Fe. I wouldn't if I was you. Who let you in here? On its way here, the army escort was completely wiped out by the Sanchez band. They took the money. And I got it back. There's $100,000 there. Of course, I expect 10% of it. But now, some of the bandits have taken the place of the escort so as to sneak into town. They got intentions of cleaning out your bank. May we know what your name is? It's Hank. Hank Fellows. They called me Lanky when I was a boy. <laughs> you got a sheriff in this here town? No. Mm -hmm. A sort of one. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's send for him. Uh, yes, sir. You and the others there, so on the building. Uh, let's go, boys. Smith, Hager, guard the door. Stanley? Here, sir. Watch the windows. Yes, sir. And you two, carry in the strong box. Take this to the manager. The money must be given to him personally. Just a moment, please. Come in. This way. Yeah. 
Get out, quick. Those saddlebags, they belong to Sanchez. There's the dollars he stuffed in them. Somebody's played a trick on us. We've been trapped. Stop. Those are your $10,000. Thank you, sir. Much obliged. Well, so now you're rich, hmm? You can never have too much money. <laughs> Would you like to double those $10,000? That depends. Hey, this. Perhaps it'll serve to clarify things for you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm only able to read the figures on banknotes and bounty posters. The government of Texas has decided to build up its gold reserves so it'll be larger than that of New Mexico. Naturally, preferring to give business to its own mines, it has bought a shipment of gold from me worth $100,000 in cash. All right, but where do I come in? Mr. Aarons here was to receive the gold from my mines and keep it for three days. That is, until Captain Saunders arrived to deliver it to the state treasury. But since an entire army escort has been massacred, it's now become a problem. Ain't you forgetting that Sanchez has been wiped out? That bandit Kennebec is much worse. His men have robbed two banks in the past couple of weeks. And I've got a hunch that they're planning to get my gold. Well, what do you want? I understand what you're telling me, but I still don't see where I fit in. What am I supposed to do? Let me add something else. Our bank allows its wealthy clients to insure deposits of the like. For this service, they pay a premium equal to 10% of the deposit itself. So I could insure $100,000. Is that what you say? Exactly. You're right. You see, Mr. Collins' proposal is that you insure his gold for him until the moment it is consigned to Captain Saunders. If the gold should be stolen, you will forfeit your money. Let's say that the gold is delivered. Then what do I get? Another $10,000. Collins must also return the sum paid by you originally for the premium. Of course. But up till then, your money would be protecting him. That's right. It's the bank that stands to risk losing $100,000. You'd be protecting it personally. Therefore, the shipment would be doubly insured. There's no doubt it's an interesting proposal. It's like a bet, really. Well, what do you think? Will you accept the offer? It's a bargain. Good. I was sure we could count on you. O'Reilly. Yes, sir. Make out a deposit insurance entry under the name of Mr. Collins. Right away, sir. I better find a room. Get me a bed where I can rest comfortable in three days. I wish you luck. Same to you. Real nice shoot match you put on there, son. Ain't seen gun work like that since Kit Carson come through town.
I want a room. Have a seat at one of the tables. A room will be ready in ten minutes. I'll open. I'm in. Sharp, you better clean out this place. There's something here that smells terrible. A man can't keep his mind on his cards with a stink like this around. It's like sitting out in the pigsty. What do you think caused this smell? Must be a dead mouse somewhere. Yeah. There must be something rotten around. That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, can't you smell something? Yeah, since you come closer. You know who you're talking to? Bill Kilpatrick. Ain't it? Five years ago, you was worth exactly $50. And five years ago, you made a mistake when you went and tried to turn me in to the sheriff of Millbury to collect that reward. My luck was sure with me because I managed to get away before you could pocket the money. But a man who makes a mistake like you did has got to pay for it, Hank, fellas. Damn right I made a mistake. I should have killed you first, then turned you in. How much you worth now? One thousand. A thousand lousy dollars. That's your limit. You're not worth more than that. Give me the key. And what'll I do with him? Ask the sheriff. And tell him to put the reward in the bank. I got an account there. John. John. Afternoon, sir. Listen, uh, tonight we send the gold to the bank. Get out the transport wagon. Bring it to the mine at 11 o'clock. That sounds kind of dangerous. No, it's not as though it's going to long distance or without a proper guard. We've got somebody new working for us. It's his job to see it gets there. He's had it insured, so now it's between him and the bank. It's their work. Yeah, all right, Mr. Collins. I'm going back to the house now. Then I'll get the transport wagon. That's fine. Hmm. Can that be Kennebec? Ten thousand for him. That sounds right. Hey, friend, can you read? Sure. Can you read who this is? 
Yes, Kennebec. Gus Kennebec. Thanks, partner. <laughs> so it is him. That's right. But don't think it's going to be easy locating him. Oh, I have patience. I can play a waiting game. The longer time passes, the more the bounty will be. The more dollars I'll collect when I kill him. Like he killed my brother three years ago. Except that I'd kill you for nothing, Kennebec. Huh. Has John been working long for Collins, Molly? Mm -hmm. We have many interesting ways of loosening people's tongues. Right, Mingo? <laughs> Haven't you done enough? Stephen was an honest boy till he met up with you. What are you doing here anyhow? I already told you. I want to see my brother. I haven't seen him in years. Leave him in peace. He wants to forget about you. He even changed his name. That wasn't a nice thing to do now, was it? But I don't hold it against him. Things like that happen between brothers. Each one takes his own road. He's coming. <laughs> Quiet. Don't move. Go on. You must know I'm here. Say just one word and you'll be dead. Get me something neat right away. Well, go on. I'm in a hurry. We got to take a load into town. Collins is waiting. Be quiet, Papa. What's the matter? Nothing at all. Go ahead, Johnny. That was real interesting, what you were saying. What do you want? We were just paying you a friendly visit. Get out and leave us alone. This is an honorable house, and we don't want any bandits around. You filthy dog. Why do you think you can dictate to us? Get out, and I mean right now. Both of you! Sit down. We gotta talk to you. You leave him alone. You must know they're looking for you. So why are you here? You want them to find you? You'll be sorry you behaved like this. Keep your mouth shut. Join up with us. We're doing real good now. Hmm. I told you five years ago that I didn't want any part of you. I even changed my name so that no one would ever think that we were brothers. All right, then. Let's talk about the gold. Talk about what gold? The Collins gold. When are you taking it to town? You lousy thief. <coughs> Stop it, you hear me. Why are you treating him like this? I tell you to shut up. Maybe this boiling hot coffee will restore your memory. When are you taking the Collins gold to town? Now! When? When? Tonight. They're waiting for me now. Where's it going? From the mine to the bank. Good. That's what I wanted to find out. I'll see you later. Don't think it'll be easy. I'll tell the sheriff you're coming. He'll be waiting for you. Want something to happen to Molly? What? She's going with us. And if you talk, I hate to think what'll happen. You cowards. You cowards. We not like that kind of talk. And that's to show you that I ain't just talking for the fun of it. Gus now. What's the news? We work tonight. Get ready. We gotta start moving. 
Collins is shipping some gold to the bank. And knowing Collins, it's going to be a real big blow. It'd be better if we waited a while till things quieted down a little bit, Gus. I'm Rocky's right. That bossy from Danfield is still out looking for us. But it's wrong. You are afraid? Cut out the talk. Let's go. Steve. Yeah, Gus? You stay with her. She'll teach you some manners. When we see that wagon coming, what do we do then? Like we do at Danfield, right? Yeah, that's right. Come on. I sure never thought I'd be seeing you here. I never thought that one day you'd be keeping me prisoner, Steve. Cut him off on that side. Ready? <laughs> Idiots! Get back! They see this! Let him go ahead! That snake hearted killer. <laughs> if I ever get my hands on the devil that fired that shot, I'd tear his tongue out. Did you see him, that lousy gringo? A bounty killer. I know he's shooting. Only Hank Fellas could hit the mark at a distance like that. Good. Then we'll have Gus Kenny bank against Hank Fellas. There's a match for you. That boy sure is a real marksman. Yeah, you want to bet on it then? Who are you for, Kenny Beck? No, for Lanky Fellow. Lanky Fella? <laughs> <laughs> I got my telescope here. Should have had it 40 years ago. Yeah. Wouldn't have got cheated out of that gold claim of mine. First one in the district was, too. All the gold they're digging up here would have been mine. And I mean that gold that Collins is taking into the bank there right now. I would have had a buggy made of pure gold and a gold pipe. And a spittoon made of gold, too. <laughs> if I could have shot like Kit Carson in those days.
far, so good, Mr. Ahrens. And I no longer have to worry, right? Mr. Collins, here's a signed receipt for your deposit. Thank you. This document is just what I've been waiting for. From now on, the responsibility is all yours. And now, friends, let's hope that you sleep well. If anything happens to that gold, it'll be the ruin of my bank. It'll be the ruin of me, too. Well, there's no point in worrying about it. That can't help us. Let's get some sleep. I'll sleep here. Let's see now. The combination is turn left to two, right to five, left to one. Someone will see you. The reward they're offering for you is growing big every day. I've been waiting a long time to find something like this. That gold means a new life for the two of us. When will you take it? When I know, I'll tell you. Everything's quiet. I wonder how they're doing over there at the bank. I'll take a look. Easy there. <laughs> ah, it's you. You better tell Aaron's to build some brick steps here. Somebody's going to wind up with a broken neck. Somebody better tell you to stop carting my gold around at night. Who've you been listening to, Grandpa? I've known everything that's happened in this town since the night they cheated me out of my gold claim. One of them was a Cheyenne. He scalped me. Neat as you please. He probably sold that scalp for $50. <laughs> ah, if he'd only been there that night, things have been a lot different. Good morning, Aaron's. Ah. <laughs> How's that special watchdog of yours working out? Fine. Now that Fellows is on the job, I'm not worrying. He slept here last night. These bandits are clever. They've broken into even tougher strong rooms than that. All right. Let's take a look, shall we? There's no harm in checking. The responsibility's yours. It's been stolen. Yes. And 
you pay me every cent of that one hundred thousand dollars. Hey, that gold of mine's worth them. I can see that. I dang well hate to be in their shoes now. <laughs> Look at him go. We want an explanation. What did you think? Someone pulled a fast one? I never earned $10,000 so easy. I mean it. Where's the gold then? You had no right to touch it. Till the soldiers come to take it over. I've been given the job to defend it. When they built them steps, they brought tough pine slabs all the way from Colorado. That step should never have busted like that. Your papa's going to be real proud of you when we tell him that you helped your mama make cartridges today. But is he ever coming back? Pretty soon. What's happened? Something's gone wrong. Why have you come here at this hour? Gus wanted me to bring you this message. Tomorrow morning at dawn, we break into the bank. He wanted to be sure that by then you and boy would be in a safe place. Look, Mingo. I'm making some cartridges, too. You good boy. And Papa someday bring you big present from Mexico. I want a pistol. Oh, many cartridge. We made these so far. That is enough. You must leave here today. Yes. Mm. Oh, 
All right, stay where you are. Who are you? Put up your hands. Keep moving. Someday soon your meat man can fix you good. I know who you are. Good for you. Hank Fellows. I got a feeling the cemetery's getting a few new customers tonight. Mm. All on account of my gold. Where is she? Where have you taken my daughter? Talk or I'll tear out that tongue of yours. Where is she? Talk if you want to leave her alive. All right, you ask for it. Leave him alone. He'll cooperate. All right, where's the girl? They took her to the shack near the red rocks. Who was that woman you were visiting? Where were you coming from just now? You want some talk, more? Talk. I only saw Isabel. And who is this Isabel? The woman of Kennebec. And why did you have to see Isabel today? Come on. Talk. She sent me into town to let Isabel know we were going to break into bank tomorrow at dawn. You must worry about her and boy. You want her to take little Philip to a safe place. I'll take him to one. Hurry! Don't waste time. halfway there by now. There'd be in Omaha at dawn. If it wasn't for you, I'd be going with him. Steve, you've changed. Yeah, I trusted everyone. But now I know the strongest man's always right. I've been deceived so much, I can't even believe in love. Now it seems impossible to find a girl whose love you can trust blindly, but perhaps I'm wrong. After you, I never loved anyone else. And I've loved no one else but you. You know that. Gus! 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 What's happened? 
They arrested Mingo outside the house. Where's Gus? And where are the others? They left at sundown, heading for Omaha. Sundown? Oh, no. We've got to warn them. We've got to tell them what's happened. We couldn't stop them if we had wings. Hey, where's the kid? At the house, but he won't open for anyone. What if Mingo talks? They wouldn't touch the child. They might. They'd use him to help capture Kennebec. <gasps> what's she doing here? She's the daughter of Gus's brother. We're keeping her here as a hostage. If Mingo talks, then Philip is going to be in real danger. Let me use your horse quick. I've got to do what I can to stop them. If they touch my boy, you'll suffer for it. Mingo Samit is here. Give the signal. Try again, louder. Amlock and I are going into town. If everything's quiet, Amlock will come back for the rest of you. If he don't come back by dawn, then attack, because we'll be needing you. And don't forget, what we're most interested in is the bank. Wiley. Yeah, Gus. Take over. Okay. Let's go! Now, suppose we take a look at what's happening on the Western Front. Ah, they've got McAllister on guard there. He's a good boy. I found it this town. They better take care of it. Good man up there, too. <laughs> They won't get my gold. Corporal Jefferson, sir, reporting for duty. Looks like you were right, Gus. Nobody noticed the horses at this hour. We come into town under that bridge there.
Mingo. 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 What's wrong with you? It's Gus. Don't you recognize me? Get up. Try and come over here. Quick. I'm sorry, Gus. Why? They didn't steal. They tortured me. What did you tell them? To the bank. And your family. Your boy in danger. Go to him quick. <laughs> you lousy traitor ought to kill you. Only we need your help. Watch yourself. Here's some dynamite. <laughs> Hamlock's gone to get the horses. <laughs> Where's the boy? Where's Philip? Where's the boy? I left him here. I wanted to tell you that Mingo had been arrested. Where is he? They took him. <laughs> He was taken by my brother. That hang fellas tied me up. He left when you came in. <laughs> fellas must have some plan or would have waited. He planned to set that girl free. Yes. We better get out to the shack quick. We may have to use her to get Philip back. Let's hope we can get word to the others before they come in to attack the town. Find my boy, Gus. Don't worry. I'll get him back. That fella hurt you? Nobody said something that frightened me, Gus. What? He said he'd sworn an oath to kill you. Did he tell you what for? No. Because I killed his brother. Come on, hurry. We gotta move fast. town's waiting for us. You stop the boys from coming in if you can. And you, Mingo, come with me to the shack. Quick!
loose leaking. Dang it. We got to divide into two groups. One will attack the town from the Pecos Road, and the other will come down from the hillside. Let's go. <laughs>
Uh, could you do me a favor? Would you mind seeing that this telegram gets to Mr. Aarons? I can't leave the office now. What's it say? Well, I shouldn't, but I'll make an exception for you. Escort on way, departed at dawn, stop. Arriving tomorrow, early afternoon, stop. Cordially, Carradine. Uh-huh. She's gone. Steve went with her. That rotten little traitor, he set her free! Don't worry, Gus, we catch him. You'll be sure he pay for this. He'll pay all right. Where's the boy? We've got to find him. It's your fault they took him. If something happens to my son, I swear I'll kill you too. You knew how dangerous it was to leave him alone. It's our men, Wiley and all of them. What happened in town? They're all of them dead. It was that bounty killer did it. Wiley led our men into town. I tried to stop him, Gus, but I couldn't get there in time. They broke into the bank and got as far as the strong room. There, instead of the gold, was another charge of dynamite, like at the bridge. Those who weren't blown to pieces died right afterwards. Nobody was saved. There's a rat too many in Texas till Hank Fellows dies. Where are you going? To get back my son! You'd better leave now. I'll join you across the border. If you stay, they might hang you. Please take care. I will. You shoot good because of that telescope, don't you? If that's what you're thinking, here. Take my gun. Only don't try no tricks. You shot my brother when his back was turned. But I don't trust you like he did.
Look out! I'm Captain Saunders, sir. Although we've ridden since dawn yesterday without stopping for sleep, I hear we've arrived too late. But they've blown up your strong room and the gold's gone. You know where they could have taken it. Here's the gold. Right in front of you. <laughs> of course, by right, that gold's mine. <laughs> Here's your letter of credit. The state of Texas will pay you $100,000. Thank you, Captain. Hank, there's $31,000 here for you. 20 from Mr. Collins, a thousand reward for Kilpatrick, who you shot in the bar, and the 10,000 reward for Kennebec. Gentlemen. Well, wait a minute. But can't you even say thanks? You expected more? You can never have too much money. <laughs> <laughs> He's even worse than a banker. <laughs> Afraid!
Road in town, so I am told. 